Hey everyone, Iron Toes here. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. This is your quick guide to using the new Captain Marvel in Marvel Contest of Champions. Okay, so first let's take a look at her abilities and her stats. This is unranked, unleveled, Captain Marvel, 5 star. Uh, as far as uh, synergies go, she synergizes with uh, Rogue, Nick Fury, which is probably the best one, the other Captain Marvels, and the Miss Marvel. Uh, basically, she can become unstoppable. This is with Rogue. With Nick Fury, the charges last longer, which is basically twice as long. That's probably the best one if you can do it. Uh, and the other ones give her power and increase the potency of her binary mode. Uh, the main things, the main three things you need to know is that she does armor break the opponent quite a bit. You need to know how to gain the energy charges, which I'll show you. And then, of course, uh, and her specials give you benefits there. And then there's all the stuff that happens when she has binary mode. What you basically need to know is that she starts beating down the opponent. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. First, I'm going to show you a couple of quest fights here, and I wanted to show you that for a few reasons. Number one, she has persistent charges, and they're two, I don't know, slightly different opponents. The first one here is uh, the 2099 Punisher, and uh, first thing I want to show you is basically what she does with her heavy attack. Um, actually, a pretty neat little ability here. Uh, so basically, if I parry and I use my heavy, nothing really happens. Um, the real benefit to her heavy attack is when you interrupt their heavy attack. See that nice little stun there? You can get in there and, and get a good counter attack. Um, you can either interrupt their heavy attack or you can hit them while they're still recovering, which I guess is technically still interrupting it. Um, but that's the main thing. The first thing is her heavy attack. You want to get used to that. That's really going to be helpful once you get into binary mode because it's just going to allow you to uh, stun them and get more of that heavy damage in while she's in binary. She happens to be in binary right now um, that was just mostly just happenstance you can see here that when you do go binary um, a lot of her attacks become unblockable they do true damage pretty awesome so I ended that fight that first fight with six binary charges still going even in binary mode and so whether you're in binary mode or not binary mode they do stay persistent it doesn't matter if they're on the counter they're still yours for the next fight you can see here I have, uh, let's click on it real quick, yeah, six. Um, one more thing about the heavy attack I'm going to show you at the beginning of this battle is that it removes all of their armor up that they currently have. So if Howard starts with eight, bam, they're all gone. Pretty neat way to nullify all of it. You know, uh, it, it is specifically just for armor break, but man, it's pretty powerful to get rid of every armor up passive and active. So it, yeah, it works on Howard the Duck there because he's got eight armors to begin with, but it works on people like Iron Man Infinity War also, uh, which is really nice because you're constantly baiting his heavy and countering with your heavy anyway. So it's a nice little built-in ability. It seems like it was made for, for that opponent. Uh, now you need to worry about gaining charges. Well, try not to get hit, first of all. Um, so how do you gain charges? The basis is you take hits, right? So if you take a hit, you get a charge. If you parry a hit, you get two charges. Um, nice thing about uh, somebody like Howard the Duck or that first one, the Punisher, is energy blocks get extra uh, charges. And then also your special one, your special two with, with Captain Marvel give you charges. Um, and also the special three gives you ten. At the, at the, honestly, if you get the special three, you probably have enough charges to get all the way up to 25 anyway and automatically set off that binary node. The third thing we're going to show you is how to ignite the binary mode and there's three main ways to do that um, the first way in order to enter binary mode is when you get knocked down and I wouldn't necessarily recommend that as a way to purposely get into binary mode but uh, it works um, in any case you have to have at least 10 of those energy charges so let's see if we can build up to the 10 energy charges first I, I find that a very good way to do that is just to throw your special one until you get there there we go, we're over 10, or over 11. Alright, so next time he throws his heavy, I'm going to let him hit me. Let's uh, see if we can bait it out of him here. There we go, 1, 2, and boom. So I get knocked down, I had more than 10 charges, I go into binary mode. That is simply one way that it can happen, which is kind of nice because uh, it, it prevents you from having to hold your block or having to get so high. It, sometimes it can just happen. Um, 
The downside is sometimes you don't want to squander all your charges that early. Um, the second way to enter binary mode is actually to dash back and hold your block. So let's get back up to 10 charges here real quick. I'll throw my heavy. I'm up to 6 here. Let's dodge that. Uh, Iron Man Infinity War is nice because he, he does put a lot of energy damage and give you a lot of charges. Alright, so let's wait for our chance. Back up. There we go. Binary mode. So that's the second way you can do it. You can back up and hold your block. You can see the timer go down. It doesn't actually take that long. And you can go into binary mode again and start basically laying the beat down. Which is great. Um, this is nice if you need a burst of damage midway through the fight. Uh, if you have enough charges but you're not quite to 25, you can throw down binary mode and, and sneak in a lot of damage. The third way to get binary mode active is to just get to 25 charges. Those, en those energy charges, once it hits 25, you automatically go into binary mode. Um, a lot of times if you're throwing your special 3, it also gives you 10 more, which puts you at 25 and throws you into binary mode. Um, but that is probably what you really want to shoot for, is to get to the 25 energy charge binary mode. Uh, the reason that is is because the more energy charges you have, the more uh, fury stacks you get when you go into binary mode for the duration of it. Second reason would be is when you have 25 charges, of course it's going to take longer for binary mode to wind down. Alright, so let's take some blocks here, see if we can get, well not that one. Uh, let's see if we can get some blocks and get some charges. 2, 22, 23, 24, and there we go. So I hit 25 charges and immediately went into binary mode with 5 furies. And you can see um, for an unranked Captain Marvel fighting a rank 2 6 star Infinity War Iron Man, it's, it's really getting the job done here. Now what I want to do when I'm in binary mode, nice thing about having that many charges and waiting for it to go to 25 is you can get up to your special 2 even if you don't have any energy to start with or power to start with. That special 2 really does some nice damage. Finishes off with a stun, and there we go. So he's done. So that's pretty much it. That's Captain Marvel. So the three things, just to recap about Captain Marvel that you need to know is that she's very good at armor breaking if you've got an opponent like that. Um, she also uh, does pretty good removing armor breaks. She does a pretty good stun on her heavy. Um, you can intercept their attacks for armor breaks. You need to learn how to gain the charges. I recommend using the special one. And then there's three ways to unleash binary mode, um, whichever one kind of works best for you that battle, but always try to shoot for just maxing out to your 25 charges. You'll get the longest binary mode, you'll get the most powerful one, uh, and try to power or pair her up with Nick Fury because you'll just double the duration almost of the binary mode. So anyway, um, that's it. Unboxing and some gameplay with the uh, new Captain Marvel. I think she's fun, she's great. Um, like a cosmic, like any cosmic, she does a great beatdown. Um, and she'll get you through some tough content just just based